The Rise of Form 2 may look like a brick and it probably doubles as a scarily effective weapon in a pinch, but it's actually a handset with an overpowering emphasis on mobile gaming. This thing can give you a winning edge when gaming on the go, delivering a newfound mobile advantage. Or at least it can according to this lovely little letter that you get bundled in the box from the Razer CEO. But is the Razer Phone 2 really all that when it comes to mobile gaming? And more importantly, does it boost the PUBG mobile experience at all? Let's explore all of the Razer Phone 2's best gaming features in depth. And don't forget for more on the latest to greatest mobile tech to ding that notifications bell, tap that subscribe button and have yourselves a lovely day. Cheers. Now one of the areas where the Razer Phone 2 really excels compared with its premium smartphone rivals is that gorgeous IGZO display. It's a 5.7 inch IPS panel with a Quad HD Plus resolution. Now you can get rival handsets such as the Huawei Mate 20 Pro which sport just as sharp a screen that's actually more spacious and so easier to play the likes of PUBG Mobile on. However the Razer Phone 2, like the original Razer Phone before it, boasts a stunning 120Hz refresh rate for silky smooth experience no matter what you're up to. Unfortunately, not all mobile games support that 120Hz refresh rate or ultra motion as it is known. In fact, there's probably just over 100 games in all that support it right now as I shoot this video and they're all listed handily here on the Razer website. Unfortunately, PUBG Mobile is not among them, but you do get plenty of popular titles thrown in there anyway, such as the likes of Vainglory, Injustice, Alto's Odyssey, Gear Club, things like that. When it comes to FPSs, which is one of the few genres which actually really benefits from that 120Hz refresh rate, it is quite a slim pickings, unfortunately. Well, as you can see, I've actually tried playing Alto's Adventure side by side on the Razer Phone 2 and the Apple iPhone XR, and I'll be bugging if I can notice any difference in terms of the general screen smoothness. And by the way, playing this game on two phones at once is a pretty good challenge. And it's also worth pointing out that just because a game supports ultra motion, it's not guaranteed to play at 120 frames per second to make the most of it. The actual performance you get will of course depend on your smartphone, how much grunt it's got, things like that. One of the other strengths of the Razer Phone 2 is the Razer Cortex app. This is basically a gaming app which allows you to configure the exact performance and output from every single individual title on your smartphone. While a lot of other smartphones do come with this kind of gaming mode now, the OnePlus 6T is especially good, the Razer Cortex app does go that one step beyond. Not only do you get a Do Not Disturb feature which disables any notifications from popping up and ruining your experience while you're in the game, but you can also configure the exact performance rate. So speaking of performance, how does the Razer Phone 2 stack up against rivals? Well, it sports the mighty Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset. It's close to a year old now, but it's still super powerful. Here on the Razer Phone 2, it's backed by a stunning 8 gigs of RAM, and certainly as far as everyday performance goes, no problem whatsoever. If you're into a bit of benchmarking, the Razer Phone 2 certainly churns out scores on par with the likes of the OnePlus 6T, not quite as strong as the likes of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, but really not far behind at all. So again, at the time of recording at least, it is one of the most powerful smartphones that you can buy. And once again with PUBG Mobile, I saw absolutely no drop in performance at all, even on sessions lasting an hour upwards. I was playing the game on high detail levels with HDR activated, and it looked absolutely stunning, and yes, not a single stammer in sight. But to be perfectly honest, I haven't really noticed any serious jump in performance on the Razer Phone 2 compared with much cheaper handsets such as the Honor Play, which again are dedicated to gamers. The Honor Play costs under £300 and yet still delivers a nice silky smooth frame rate. It's gorgeous stuff. That's all thanks to Huawei's smart GPU turbo feature, which I've discussed in a completely different video. And if you are planning on gaming all day long, or at least until the battery runs dry, the good news is that the Razer Phone 2 doesn't heat up either. That vapor cooling chamber really does a great job of dissipating the heat, so no part of the Razer Phone 2 at any point feels too toasty to touch. Of course, the strong part of any gaming experience is the audio as well. A lot of games pack some really awesome music, which really help to get you into the mood. And in the likes of PUBG Mobile, the audio is essential at keeping you alive for listening out for footsteps, distant gunfire, the likes of that. The good news is that the Razer Phone 2 packs dual Dolby Atmos speakers. They're both front firing, so you get a nice powerful bit of audio blasted right at your face. And while there's no 3.5mm headphone jack here on the Razer Phone 2, you do at least get a dongle bundled in the box. The good news is that it's got a 24-bit DAC built into it as well. So if you do want to go wired, you can expect some really solid audio quality. And of course, if you're addicted to PUBG Mobile, you'll want to get decent battery life out of your weapon of choice. Thankfully, the Razer Phone 2 doesn't disappoint in this area. It's got a mighty 4,000 milliamp cells stuffed inside, about as big as you could possibly expect from a modern smartphone. The only one we've tested recently with a bigger one is the Huawei Mate 20 Pro with a 4,200 milliamp cell. I found that if I'm playing PUBG Mobile non-stop, I'll basically get about five hours of use 
out of the Razer Phone 2 from a full charge. Definitely not a bad effort at all. And when it comes time to power up the Razer Phone 2 again, it supports both wireless charging and a bit of Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4.0 Plus. Certainly when you plug it in, it is nice and nippy at getting back up to full charge. So that in a nutshell is what I think of the Razer Phone 2's gaming chops after a few days of using it as my handheld gaming device. Are you tempted by the Razer Phone 2 purely because of its gaming prowess? It's certainly not cheap, that's for sure. So definitely be interested to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you.